Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Amy DuPont. A Sparta man is behind bars tonight, charged with beating his girlfriend to death. Today, the suspect appeared in court. News 8 Now's Rob Romano was there. Amy, according to a criminal complaint, 32-year-old Sean Hawk severely beat and killed 32-year-old Sarah Latimer after she broke up with him. We also learned Hawk had previously been convicted of domestic abuse. Criminal complaint uh, uh, has seven counts including first degree intentional homicide, repeater and domestic abuse. In Monroe County Court over Zoom on Monday, Judge Mark Goodman gave people a snapshot of how severe the charges against 32 year old Sean Hawk truly are. Should he be convicted, uh, the legislature has uh, mandated he will sent, be, shall be sentenced to life imprisonment. According to a criminal complaint, 32 year old Hawk severely beat and killed 32 year old Sarah Latimer following a breakup on May 10th. Latimer's body was found unresponsive on Jefferson Avenue in Sparta. Hawk is being charged in this case as a repeat domestic abuse offender. The allegation is being that uh, he severely beat and killed uh, his significant other, uh, Ms. Latimer, who had uh, previously been the victim of abuse from Mr. Hawk. Obviously, given the, the nature of the offense, given the manner in which it's alleged that Mr. Hawk killed Ms. Latimer, uh, the likelihood of a very lengthy prison sentence should he be convicted is extremely high. And speaking of the way in which 32-year-old Latimer was killed, authorities say a police detective found bruises on her the size of baseballs when her body was discovered here on Jefferson Avenue on May 10. The criminal complaint says Latimer faced a series of blunt force injuries to her head, including a brainstem laceration. Monroe County DA Kevin Croninger says his office will fight for justice in this case. Particularly when a person uh, loses their life in a way that we believe is criminal, we, we take that extremely seriously. Uh, we will use um, every resource we can to ensure that we uh, get justice for victims of, of these types of crimes. And overall, Hawk is being charged on seven counts, four of which are felonies, including first degree intentional homicide and aggravated battery, among other charges. Amy, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Rob. And Hawk will be back in court on June, excuse me, on July 8th.